Hey there, and welcome to The Locker Room. Coach Giggs here, and today's message, contemplate the qualities you most desire. Contemplate the qualities you most desire. Can you imagine your ideal partner? Make a list of the qualities that you find most attractive. Start writing down everything that might be important to you, such as kindness, confidence, loyalty, empathy, good manners, charisma, appearances, etc. Then whittle down the A-list to only the most crucial qualities without which that person wouldn't make a good fit for you. As you decide which characteristics are mandatory, move the qualities that you wouldn't mind them having but aren't really absolutely necessary to the B list. Next, for those qualities on the A list, write down precisely what you mean. For example, if a sense of humor is important to you, and I hope it is because they say that is the number one quality that keeps great relationships going, <clears throat> what kind of sense of humor? Sarcastic? Slapstick? Uh, clean jokes, dirty ones, I mean, what kind of sense of humor do you have? Though the partner you eventually choose may or may not possess everything on the list, having a clear idea of what you're looking for can help you to make a good selection. I've done this. I've written this down. As most of you know, I've been single now for five years. And while I certainly adore and appreciate my daughter's mother as I move forward I'm looking to experience a love relationship again and I'm holding out for these qualities that I believe are very important to me on that A-list in addition to your A-list make a list of the qualities that you may have misinterpreted for instance did you tend to confuse charisma with cocky uh, confidence with dramatic or flirtations with a cheating heart by identifying your missteps, you know, we could have been off on that, you can help prevent them from happening in the future and stop repeating, therefore, the mistakes that we make. That's my message for today, gang. Contemplate the qualities you desire. Write them down, A-list, B-list. Make sure that the A-list is complete. Not that long, but very important that you look at your A-list and these are qualities you can't live without. The B-list, well, not everyone's perfect. Not me, not you, not anyone. So we don't want to look for perfect people. Because guess what? We are those people, and we are not perfect, you or me. So let's write down the qualities that we desire most. Let's also, if we're in a relationship, share those qualities that we admire and respect the most. And let's make sure that we get a life partner that we enjoy our lives with. Make it a great day. Thanks for joining me in the locker room. We'll see you tomorrow, gang. Bye-bye. If you've enjoyed and feel that the Daily Locker Room has served as an inspiration in your life, why not take this moment and do the same for a friend by sending them the daily message? Click on the Tell a Friend tab, fill in their information, and help spread the inspiration.